In this video, we'll look at how to change the multiplication table that we made in a previous video into a special kind of multiplication table, one that does multiplication in modular arithmetic. Now, modular arithmetic is sometimes called clock arithmetic. It's accessible at a fairly elementary level, although it's often not formally introduced until college classes in number theory or abstract algebra. Okay, so here we have the multiplication table that I described how to make in a previous video. And the most important formula is over here. I'll show with the magnifying glass. And it, the dollar signs show that we're using absolute references. And I explained in the other video what that means. Okay, so I'm going to keep the same formula, delete delete some of the cells we don't need here. Now for modular multiplication tables we'll usually start with zero and by the way you can use a very very similar technique to make addition tables. Okay so let me let me erase these and I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do mod six which means I go from zero to five. Mod six they're going to be the remainders after you divide by 6. So you can kind of think about going around and around in a circle that's kind of like a clock, but instead of going from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock or something, it, it, we just have the number 0 through 5 written on the clock. And so when we get to what would be 6, we're really back at 0. And what goes in the table is where we would land after doing the said multiplication. Okay, so change the formula, and it's really a minor modification here. I'm going to put the multiplication that we did before inside this mod function. Okay, the mod function takes two arguments, a number, which is going to be the result of our multiplication, and then it takes a divisor, which in this case, because we're doing mod 6, will be 6. We could do another number here. Okay. And then I just drag this. And I have the multiplication table. Now this is a nice activity to have students make multiplication tables for a variety of mods and then to look for patterns in them. There are a lot of interesting patterns, some of which correspond to some pretty important and deep results in number theory.